We're going to learn how to put a YouTube video into a PowerPoint presentation. Now, a lot of students ask me, why do it? By the way, did you not love that transition? That's called Glitter, and it's in the Microsoft Office 2010 PowerPoint. Um, but why do it? Why put a video from YouTube into your PowerPoint? Well, it enhances the presentation. Some people learn better when there is a video in there. Uh, it also does some of the work for you. So maybe you're tired of standing up there talking and there's this great video that helps you out, gives you um, gives your audience a little bit more information. Uh, put the video in there. Let them watch it. And it really captivates the audience. A lot of people like looking at video. Uh, I don't recommend making PowerPoints entirely out of different videos, obviously, but uh, it can absolutely add a lot to your presentation. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go and find the video that we want to put in our PowerPoint. Now, I am actually just going to get a video that I've already put on YouTube. It's not educational at all. There are a lot of great educational videos, of course, on YouTube and elsewhere out there in the internet world. But like I said, I'm just going to go with one that I have that's mine. It's all mine. So, um, yeah, not using anybody else's. So I've gone to YouTube.com and I want to find my video. Well, I am this computer teacher. So let's see what I got out there. I just have one video standing solo right now out there. I have a lot of videos ready to go up there. But we're going to just start with the one I have. You will see that, yes, that's me with long hair, that um, I was part of a hair donation challenge at my school in June a few months ago. So I have much shorter hair now, I look a little bit different. But I want to put this video in my PowerPoint. So hmm, what do I need to do? Well, let's go back to PowerPoint. And I have a PowerPoint slide already for it. It says YouTube video example. One thing that I kind of like to do, and you might like to do it, you might not like to do it, but sometimes it's kind of fun to draw something maybe like an iPod touch or some kind of you know laptop or uh, technology computer internet enabled device like a cell phone maybe that will play videos so that you kind of have this little backdrop that can be kind of cool it doesn't have to be hard I am not extremely good at drawing um, and illustrating but I do know how to use shapes so I'm going to insert shapes and I'm going to let's see get this one right here it's called the rounded rectangle and I'm going to let's just draw it here and there it is now I'm gonna get rid of that box it was already there that says click here to add text I'm just gonna click on the edge of that and hit delete and now it's gone well hmm this is kind of a tangerine color I'm not really seeing an iPod this color so I'm gonna choose format and well let's just make it black there we go and yeah so now I need a place to put the video so I'm gonna go back to insert shapes and I'm gonna use just the regular rectangle and you guys will see why in just a second uh, so let's just draw a box again what's with the orange I don't know it was already there so I'm going to just choose this white one with the black outline and now I'm going to draw my play buttons, shapes, and this is an oval, it's not really a circle, and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't really see a circle, so how do we make it a circle? So there's a trick, you just click on it, hold down your shift key while you draw the oval, and obviously it is constrained to be a circle. So no matter what I do, as long as I'm holding that shift key down, it is a circle. So I'm going to let go. Whoops. Sorry. Let go too soon. Um, undo button up here. Let's try again. Insert shapes. Oval. Hold down the shift key. There we go. Okay. I let go of shift a little early while ago, but I'm going to go back to format and do the same thing. I'm going to make this white with a black outline and insert shapes. Oval. Hold down the shift key, draw my little circle in the middle, format white with a black outline. Okay, kind of looks like an iPod. Not perfect, but like I said, I'm not extremely artistic. So how do we get the video in? Hmm. Well, 
this magic little tab here called the developer tab. And chances are, if you have not done this yet, your developer tab is not showing up here in the in the menu, the tab menu. So let's get the developer tab. What do we do? Well, you go to file, kind of like the magic button there. If um, you are in Microsoft Office 2007, you will choose the office button, which is the big round button up here in the top left corner. And somewhere in there it says options, just like this one does. Click options and customize ribbon. I think for you guys in 2007 it might be like advanced or something like that. But you're looking to make sure that this developer tab is checked. So this says main tabs, customize the ribbon. The ribbon, for those of you who might not realize that, is this, this bar, really, toolbar up here at the top. And it was new in 2007, and they've carried it forth in 2010. So make sure developer is checked. Click OK, and there's my developer tab. Next, for controls, there is one right here. It says more controls. I'm going to click on that. And I'm looking for shockwave flash object. It's in alphabetical order, so shockwave flash object is going to be right here, of course, with the S's. So click, choose OK. Well, it didn't do anything. Well, why not? Oh, because well, we have to draw. So I wanted it to have the square edges versus the rounded ones for this reason right here. And it doesn't have to be exact, but pretty close. So now we have this beautiful X in the middle of our pretend iPod touch and we need it to be the video. So let's right click on this and let's look at the properties for the shockwave flash object and make them point to the video on YouTube that we want. So I'm going to right click again. If you missed it, right click with my mouse, choose properties and I get all the properties of this object. Now movie is the one that we want. We have to put something here to make our video play. And this is where we go and get the the needed um, information from YouTube. So I'm going back to YouTube and if you click on share underneath the video there is a link to the video. Some videos have this enabled um, or I'm sorry that's embed. Click on share and then here you'll find a link to the video. So I'm just going to right click and copy and come back into PowerPoint and right click and paste that code. Now I'm just looking through it and we're almost done, but there's this tedious little step that we have to do. Tedious, of course, meaning a little bit detailed. Everywhere you see the watch question mark right here. Oops, let me get just the watch question mark. Everywhere we see the watch question mark, we have to get rid of it. Otherwise, our video will not play. And there's the watch delete. I'm using my arrow to get the question mark. Next, everywhere we see the equal sign, we have to make it the forward slash, which is the same <clears throat> slash that's on the question mark key on your keyboard. So make sure there are no more equal signs. Uh, some videos will have more. So I have forward slash, I got rid of the watch question mark, and I changed that equal sign that was after the V into another forward slash. And I think I'm good. Okay, so let me just kind of close out of here. And mm, I don't see my video. Well, not yet, because you have to go and look at the slideshow. So let's do slideshow from current slide. And ooh, that's a beautiful transition. I think that's called vortex. And our X disappeared. And hey, look, there's our video. And I'm going to click play and it will play. And when it's done, it's kind of cool. You know, when a video is done on YouTube, it gives you lots of other suggestions for videos that might be related. Hi, I'm a teacher. In actually here in Durham, North Carolina. And I just PowerPoint, the videos will actually pop up at the bottom. I just want to say that this Friday, not a very beautiful picture, but congratulations, guys. You did it.